Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and I welcome you to the 16th video of our LZH Project series and the plan is today to uh, talk about SSH, uh, Secure Shell and TAR. So SSH is basically Secure Shell to connect to remote systems and I hope that most of you guys are familiar with it. Um, most of the version we use nowadays it's version 2 and let's uh, start the action so uh, first of all let's check what's our IP addresses uh, IP ADDR show uh, we are 192.168.1.250 and to connect to our another server we will use SSH root and 192.168.1.245 Okay, a word here like <coughs> I am using root because this is a, a dem for demo purpose, but I would really strongly recommend you guys to not to log in or SSH with user root. Uh, you can create a normal user and you can just SSH with that user, and then then uh, when you'll get into that system, then you can always switch the user. A good practice is not to SSH to user root, and basically in uh, higher secured environments user root access is already like it's blocked so I would really recommend not to use user root but for demo purpose I'm using it you can use any user instead of user root anyway so SSH root at 192.168.1.245 press enter and it will ask for the password when I will enter the password then I'll be in server 2 okay so let me exit back uh, clear the screen so basically what happens SSH uh, then you type the user root and then the IP address of the machine you want to log in okay so let me go back there and let me show you how you can access with another user so we have here user a and password of user a is user a I guess so no let me change the password okay so now let's let's connect with user a so to connect uh, with user a with SSH SSH uh, user dash a at 192.168.1.245 press enter and then password of user a and now you can see that we have uh, who are uh, who am I I'm user a now I can switch to user root and that's how you login to remote systems okay so anyway let me exit back so I am in show IP ADDR show I'm back into my syst no not at the moment exit IP ADDR show yes now I'm back into my system and now I would like to have a passwordless authentication with this server so to have a passwordless authentication we need to generate key ssh key gen type is rsa press enter okay you don't need to enter anything uh, like type anything here just press enter uh, you have to press enter and enter again that's it nothing just don't type anything once it's done you just copy the key and to copy the key you will type ssh-copy id and from basically uh, directories root and dot ssh then you will rsa dot pub basically you will copy to uh, like with uh, the user you would like to connect so at the moment I would like to connect with user root but you can connect with user A or any user and root at 
192.168.1.245 and that's it press enter it will ask for password one last time you type user roots password and IP ADDR show will reveal that we are currently in our own system okay if this time I'm going to SSH to 245 it's not going to ask me any password and to prove that uh, with user root here we go okay wow so we are in server 2 without a password so this is how a passwordless authentication works for SSH okay uh, let's exit back okay now I would like to discuss tar 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 is basically used to compress the files and we have a lot of um, compression with tar like gzip uh, and bzip are the most famous compression with uh, tar command and to use tar it's really simple uh, let's let me show you how uh, ls we have a directory salmon uh, and we will go to this directory and we can see that we have three files okay to create a tar file out of this directory we'll use tar dash cvf c is used to create v is for verbose f for file let uh, say i want to create sal dot tar with this and the directory which I would like to tar is salmon press enter and that's it we are done so this uh, sal.tar is complete file sal.tar will reveal its POSIX tar archive so basically it's how you archive your directories or your files okay so tar has lots of uh, uh, options and and out of these options, few most uh, common one used are, uh, let me ls first. Okay, let's uh, check what uh, files do we have in this star file. So to check, let me remove this directory, rm-rf salmon. And now we will see that how we can recover uh, this directory from tar. But first let's check what we have, what files do we have here in cell dot tar to check that we'll use tar dash t uh, verbose file cell dot tar and it will show that it has file one file two and file three so to untar this we will use tar xvf x is used to extract these verbose f for file cell dot tar and that's it ls and salmon directory is back and if we go to that directory we have all our all of our files so this is how the archive was able to secure and save our files okay uh, if I would like to make a gzip file out of this directory let, let me just delete the tar archive okay so to create a gzip out of this I will use tar and dash create verbose file zip so this is how you create a gzip uh, file and let's call it cell dot tar dot gz and the directory salmon press enter and we have oh I missed uh, well one thing sorry about that well let's try it again so to do that I'll use tar c for create v for verbose file zip and cell dot tar dot gz and ls and here we have cell dot tar dot gz okay good one and let's remove this or let's keep this and we can create another compression with uh, bz2 uh, with c for create v for verbose f for file and j this time cell dot tar dot bz2 and 
ls and there we are the two compressions okay last but one important uh, command like uh, how we uh, what if we have another one file let's say i'll just create touch file 4.txt and i would like this file to add to this uh, cell.tar.gz so to do that we will use uh, tar rvf command with cell.tar.gz and let's and then uh, the file name okay Yep, Z, I just forgot Z. So let's see uh, with the test command. So clear the screen, tar uh, t dash t and cell dot tar dot gz. Think it's not checking. Actually, it should check, but let's see. Okay, let me remove this file. Ref this directory is removed. File four is removed. Okay, let's untar this. Uh, C V sorry X C V F X V F Z G Z and so we don't have that file at the moment. So, I think I did some mistake. Let me add one more file. So, let's first go back and tar um, create cell.tar with salmon. Okay. Now, Let's add this home.txt we can see to this cell.tar the same way we did uh, before uh, tar uh, rvf and cell.tar to like home and it should be there now. Let's remove, uh, let's check first tar dash t cell.tar it should work actually okay let's uh, check it verbosely tar dash t vf cell dot tar and it reveals that it has home dot txt i was doing some mistake actually but anyway it's there uh, let's remove this home dot txt or oh, my phone rf so um Okay, now let's jar untar it to untar its extract verbose file cell dot tar and there we are home is there back and all the files are so this is how we use tar to compress the files and uh, you can always see the um, uh, listing of these files with ls-l dot 
star. Okay, sorry about that. This. Ten K. L H stands for human readable. Uh, G Z is some bytes and it's pretty small so this is how we use tar and use the compression and thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and please wait for some new stuff till then goodbye